Well, don't you hate it when this happens? We've got a leaky boat. That's leaking from behind the transom there. So sit back, boys and girls, and I'm going to show you all how to find a leak and get this boat back on the water. Let's get started by using the heat gun and my uh, dull pry tool and start delaminating all the fabric around the transom there so we can get access to where that leak is coming from. Now that we've got it all opened up, as you can see, we've got a ruptured seam that we're going to have to fix. So I'm going to now start cleaning up this area, removing all the old glue so that the new glue that we put on here has no issue sticking. Now that we've got all that old glue removed, let's get it taped up and start mixing our, our new batch of glue. As you guys can see, I'm using the masking tape and I'm kind of creating like a V. So this way I get less waste of the glue. Using my spreaders, I'm going to use that to separate the seam so this way I can do my gluing that needs to be done inside there. And let's start doing the glue application. Using my flat edge burnishing tool, I'm now going to apply pressure to the area that just got glued. Here I'm going to start installing the new patch that's going to be over the ruptured seam.
Now let's start gluing the transom back together to the tube. Just applying our second layer of glue that needs to be done. Now that the waiting time is done, I'm going to inflate the tube just a little bit to align everything up and start applying pressure where it needs to be. Here I'm deflating the tube, so this way I can line everything up that needs to be done here. Here I'm just applying the pressure where it needs to be, uh, especially in the areas on the tube and the transom on the inside there, where we just put our fresh glue and also just to align the upper patch there so everything lines up nicely in the end. Alright, so let's get this final gluing done. As you can see the tube is inflated. I've got everything lined up so this final patch will install very nicely. And after you've done your final layer of glue, we're going to let it sit for its waiting time. And then we're going to start using our burnishing tool and applying the pressure where needed. Just using my burnishing tool and my flat edge uh, scraper there. I'm just scraping away all the old glue and putting pressure where it needs to be. And also going to clean this area up and this boat will be done. And that is how you fix a leaky tube behind a transom, everyone. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you click that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And stay tuned. I'm going to be performing some more uh, repair shenanigans around here. Thanks for watching.